Hi Leo, welcome to your general love reading for August 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And this reading is going to be general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this is general. Alright, so let's see what is going on with Leo. What is the overall energy for our first half of August? We have karmic partner. All right, okay, so there's definitely a karmic partner in the mix here, and it could be on your person's side, it could be on your side. So for some of you, it could be that there is more than one person that you are involved with here. We'll see once we get into the reading. So karmic partner, I mean, everybody can be a karmic partner, all right? Everybody can be a karmic partner, but the way that this is coming through to me, um, especially in this deck, when I get this card, it's to differentiate between a partner that is, there's just some karma or is just serving a specific purpose and will eventually close out or is meant to eventually close out versus a divine soulmate connection where it could be that there is a deeper more genuine um, love. All right, so this is what this karmic partner is representing here. Divine soulmates can also have karma between them. All right, they are also karmic partners in that sense of the word, but this is just differentiating the divine love from <clears throat> just um, a karmic connection. All right, so. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of August. All right, so for this situation, we have the Hermit crossed by the world. All right, okay. So first of all, Virgo energy also showing up here. Um, Crossed by the world, I feel like, you know, there, someone is uh, feeling a bit alone, someone possibly is thinking a lot, really going deep, really soul searching, but the problem is, is that there might be a little too much of that, kind of like being withdrawn, being isolated, and trying to bring that to a close, trying to end something here, and thinking too much about it. Let's see... For the recent past, we have death, and for the near future, we have the Knight of Cups. All right, so definitely there was some kind of an ending already, um, or something has already ended or feels like it is done recently. Um, coming up, though, we do have someone coming in here, an offer of love or possibly communication, um, affection, anything along those lines. We'll get more information when we clarify. We are getting a lot of major arcana here. For your energy, justice. For them, the Eight of Swords. Um, more for you is the Hierophant. For them, the Five of Wands. And potential outcome is the Eight of Wands. Okay, so that is actually good. That we have that for the outcome um, because I do see that your person is struggling a little bit they're feeling a bit um, stuck possibly overanalyzing overthinking things um, feeling um, <clears throat> conflicted currently whereas you are actually um, making a decision here you are in the process of making a decision that you feel is going to be right for you <clears throat> I definitely feel like this is um, a very strong connection, just even just by judging by the number of um, major arcana cards showing up here. Either way, all right, we have the Eight of Wands for the potential outcome here. So this is some action. This is some movement. This is at least some kind of communication, all right, but positive movement in a forward direction. So whoever it is that's in this hermit energy, Whoever is overthinking, which I do feel is your person because they have the Eight of Swords, um, there's action, all right, that is coming up here. 
So let's see. So we have a whole bunch of signs again on the table. We have Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, and as I said, Virgo. So let's actually, <clears throat> of course, could be any sign, just calling out the major ones that I'm seeing. So let's clarify this hermit with the world. Okay, we have the three of wands. The nine of wands and the five of pentacles. Okay, so this person here, all right, who is, they're actually feeling very alone at the moment, feeling very lonely from within. And this could even be a part of them just really just overthinking. Um, it's feeling like it's a struggle. It's feeling like it's a big, big struggle, whatever it is that they are trying to end here. And I feel like whatever it is, it's already ended. Um, <clears throat> Again, I don't know, I, I'm still not really sure who the karmic partner is here or who is the one involved with the karmic partner because I definitely do not feel that you and another person are only just karmic partners. I really feel like that is a third party, all right? Um, it doesn't have to be, but yeah, just take it as it resonates. There's some stalling here by this person. A lot of thinking, again, with the Three of Wands. And I feel like this person is thinking a lot about the future. And possibly this is what they're overthinking is. They're thinking too much about the future and the possible challenges, the possible scenarios. I feel like there's a lot of... Um, what the issue is here, there might be some pessimism currently. And this is what is keeping them from being able to come out of this hermit, just thinking and going within and closing themselves off. They are thinking about bringing some kind of an end to that. But there's something here when it comes to thinking about the future that makes them feel like, like they might not make it. or that they might end up alone anyway. That's how it's coming through. Let me actually clarify death for the recent past. <clears throat> All right, so we have the Hermit again and the Four of Swords. Mm. There's definitely some kind of an ending here. Uh, <clears throat> that has caused somebody to really go within. So it could be that this person is just feeling an ending um, within the connection, although I don't feel like there really is, it's not really an ending. <clears throat> and I actually don't feel like whatever it is that this person is trying to end here with the world card, it's not the same ending that we have here with the death. I feel like this death might actually be an ending of or a perceived ending of this connection. And this has got this person to really take a step back, um, going within, overthinking, <clears throat> withdrawing their energy, and being very um, passive. Let's see justice for your energy. the deck we have the two of cups um, temperance and the eight of swords <clears throat> there's still love here you still you have love for this person even if there has been an ending there's definitely still love here um, but what I feel like you're doing is you're making a decision You're making a decision to find your own balance. And so I feel like you, I'm not sure if you have actually walked away because it's interesting because there is an ending. So, but, but I'm not actually seeing you having walked away, but I'm seeing you just really trying to make a decision here when it comes to love, when it comes to this situation. And you're trying to make a decision that 
it, I feel like it is based on this person, right? Because they, they're in this Eight of Swords energy, and I feel like this is a situation that when you were with this person, or even if you weren't with them physically, even if it was just energetically, it was kind of like their energy was kind of like rubbing off on you. Um, it was causing you to feel stuck. And this is why you're in the process now of making a decision to um, somehow find some kind of a balance when it comes to this to the stuckness, to the fear, um, to whatever that is, to the overanalyzing, I feel like you're, you're just kind of not wanting to do that. I, again, I don't feel like you have completely walked away. I feel like you are just trying to balance yourself out. And it's kind of like keeping this window open for the love, but not allowing yourself possibly to be obsessed or to allow this person's energy and what they're doing to affect you in this way as it did in the past. So that could be what this ending is here, that you've made this decision to not be affected and so you are possibly appearing to be more balanced. And this could be what is throwing this person into this um, loneliness and this hermit mode, um, which is not necessarily bad, but it's in this particular reading, it's coming through as it's not so positive. It's um, them feeling a little bit isolated, feeling lonely. And again, I mean, this could be for different reasons. It might not necessarily be related to what you are doing here. I just kind of feel like it is. Let's see the Hierophant, which is also in your energy. Right, the Emperor, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's very interesting because you're still feeling this connection. I feel like you definitely um, would want a commitment with this person. You still see them as the person that you would want to be with. I don't know if there's another person that it, that is um, entering your life as a karmic partner. Um, could be for some of you and that could be what is um, assisting you here and then for others of you it's this it's your person who is involved with another person and for some of you I'm actually getting that it, that both situations can apply um, again this is coming through as you still feeling this connection you still wanting this commitment with this person but you're also willing to work on your own self and be independent of it and i feel like that is the balance that you are finding that is the decision that you are making and you're doing this also to kind of like protect yourself um i feel like you're setting your boundaries because you don't want to be in that obsessive energy of the Eight of Swords. And it might not be obsessive, it could just be, you know, feeling stuck in a situation where things were just not, not moving forward. So let's see, let's see what's going on with them. We have the Eight of Swords. Clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Fool. Yeah, see, so this person is feeling that love for you as well. There, there, there's some fear here. There's a lot of fear. They could be stuck in a situation where there is um, someone else involved, all right? It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It could be anything that could be influencing them here. Whatever that situation is, they're tired of it. It's getting to the point where it's just very, very exhausting. It's weighing very, very heavy on them. Even this overanalyzing, this overthinking, that a, a lot of this thinking isn't even about that situation. A lot of it is about you or about love and what is it that is real? Where is this real love? 
and this is what is weighing heavy on them, the fact that they cannot find a solution to have this, this love. Um, and there's always a solution, there's always a solution here, right? And I feel like that solution is actually, in this particular case, the fool. Taking a leap of faith, jumping into the unknown, taking a new path, just moving in a different direction. And so this is actually in their minds, but this is something that, that they are afraid of. But it is something that this person is thinking about here. This reading does remind me a little bit of Aries, and I feel like I feel like this happens quite often. Leo readings remind me of a little bit of Aries. Let's see the five of wands. Three of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So this person is feeling heartbroken as well. Um, which doesn't surprise me, right? Because they're feeling lonely. So they're feeling this, this heartbreak, which is really conflicting them at the moment. And there is, there's a little bit of um, trying to figure things out. So. Uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and say that I do feel like they are taking some small steps. They're taking some small steps. Um, to find a solution here, to formulate the solution. Again, I do feel like there's still a lot of overthinking about that solution. Um, there could be external interference here, possibly from a karmic partner. All right, with that five of wands, so there's a lot of conflict on that end as well. But the whole situation is causing them to feel a lot of heartbreak. And I feel like that is because you are trying to find that balance. And then again, I mean, with this two of cups, I also feel like for some of you, this could be someone, someone new. Or even with this knight of cups, someone that is coming your way, somebody who is offering you um, affection. And this could also be a karmic partner for you, which is not a bad thing, all right? That's definitely not a bad thing, and this could actually be something that might might benefit you, all right? But whatever the case, it's causing this other person here a lot of um, heartbreak. So let's actually clarify that Knight of Cups for the near future. Ooh, the Ten of Cups. And the Five of Swords. Oh, okay. Somebody's coming in here. Somebody is coming in. It could be another person, as I said. Um, it's interesting because we have the Ten of Cups, but then we have the Five of Swords. So, yeah, it could be a situation that appears to be very charming, that it appears to be very... Um, positive on the surface and initially, but I feel like it is a situation where um, you will then feel like, yeah, you know, that's just not for me, basically. Um, it might be a situation that's a little bit deceptive. I'm not sure if it's this person, the first person or a new person. I, I feel like for a lot of you, this is going to be somebody else. Um, and that it's just, you know, an experience, um, you know, and you have choice, you know, whether you want to take it or not. But I feel like with that five of swords there, there's just going to be something that is going to feel off to you or you're just not going to trust it. All right. So, yeah, it could definitely be something beautiful and you're just not going to be trusting of it. And it's really going to depend. Either way, I kind of feel like. Yeah, it's coming through as like two two separate situations here. Um, for some of you, it's going to be this person. And you're not going to be able to trust this person initially. For others of you, it's going to be someone else. And again, it's going to it's going to appear very beautiful on the surface, but again, there's going to be something here that's going to throw you off. Let me see the eight of wands. For the potential outcome. 
All right, we have the Page of Cups and the High Priestess. All right, so regardless of whatever this is here, and I'm sorry about that noise, it's Manix trying to come in because I, I had to throw him out during Aries, Aries reading because he was not getting off the desk. Um, okay, High Priestess and Page of Cups. There's movement coming in, okay? Regardless of whatever the situation is, I actually feel like it is going to be two separate things, all right? Um, there's definitely positive action that is being taken here. And you will know, all right, because of the high priestess, you will know intuitively, even for this situation, whether it is the right one for you. You might not be able to trust, but deep down, you will know, all right? Now, this eight of wands that's here, that's um, the potential outcome. I feel like it's with the first person for most of you. It's going to be a confession of love. There's going to be communication about their emotions, about what they're feeling. And I do feel like that will be honest. And intuitively, you will also be able to pick up on that. All right, Leo, so if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. All right, and we have flexible. And yeah, I feel like, you know, that's the thing here. Be <laughs> learning to be flexible. You know, that it's okay to hold on to something or, you know, just leaving that window open. Well, at the same time, moving away from it, finding your independence, um, not being obsessed, not tying yourself down, not limiting yourself. Be flexible and if something new comes in, you know, you can test it out. That too is being flexible. And then make your decisions. All right, Leo, I'm gonna leave it at that. Those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.